Welcome back to AMP Business. Well, it's hit record high after record high over the past few weeks, surging through 1500 US dollars an ounce. So is now a good time to buy gold, or has investment in the precious metal already got as illustrious as it's going to get? We sent Stephen Smith to find out. As uncertainty grips global markets, gold almost always shines through. So with a little certainty restored following this week's news, gold lost a little gloss. A minor hiccup, some would say, after 10 very positive years. Um, the average price growth, as I say, was $100 US per annum uh, every year from 2003 through to 2009. Um, but we've seen that nearly double, so we're about 200, 300 in a year in the last two years. Following the collapse of the Twin Towers, investors sought safety. It was a similar story seven years later. Um, 2008 changed the game essentially with the financial crisis in the US and Europe. And what we've seen from that is demand for gold as a, a safe haven or an alternate currency to the standard euro or US dollar um, is pushing the price and pushing the demand in particular um, through areas we've not seen before. I suppose the question on everybody's lips though is, is now a good time to buy gold? This is a commodity and no one knows where the top is, no one knows where the bottom is. We would expect to see growth for another few years minimum. And a lot can happen in a few years. In May 2008 the price of gold was 856 US dollars. Now it's heading towards 1600. Uh, until you reach a point where uh, particularly the US government is comfortable with that their economy uh, can stand on its own two feet, it probably will hold up quite well. But with the New Zealand dollar so strong and gold valued in US dollars, a little luster has been lost for New Zealand investors. Well, now if, if you think back to the end of 2008, gold prices in US dollar terms uh, have risen about 75%. In, in New Zealand dollar terms, Instead of 75%, it's more like 27%. In Australian dollar terms, more like 13%. Adding a little shine, investors are buying into the companies doing the dirty work. They get the benefit of a rising gold price, uh, but they also get a dividend stream um, of 2 or 3%. But New Zealand Mint says gold, in its solid form, will always have a place, um, so as investors look to assets they can hold yeah. and wear in what's still a very volatile world. Stephen Smith reports.